Welcome back for day 19 of my 31 Days of Halloween series. Today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and paint on an iconic scene from the movie Labyrinth. Product details and all that fun stuff will be in the video description below. Let's get started. To start off, I just want to say don't mind my incredibly stained skin. Yesterday's look really got me. The first part of this look that you want to get out of the way is creating all the tedious bricks for the labyrinth wall. The body pink colors I use for this look are light brown, gray, black, and white. To get my brain to understand what the heck I'm painting, I first sectioned off the most important brick, which is the one that the worm is sitting on, and then built all the other ones around it. There's not a whole lot I can direct you on with the brick creation because it is so abstract. You basically want to have a reference photo of the clip and you're going to want to pay attention to all the different shadows and highlights within the bricks. The more shadow and highlight you use, the more 3D it's going to look. we're done doing that. To start the worm off, you're going to want to first paint his base color, which is a cream white. So I painted out the shape of his head and a bit of his body. And then I decided to paint his hair next, so I went in with a sapphire blue and made his little spiky spikes. Pretty darn cute. He also has quite a few tufts of hair, and what I found worked the best is to give them little bits of highlights so that you can tell that it's different pieces of hair. And also finish the rest of his body shape. Looking super closely at the worm, I realized that it had a little hint of red on its body, so I added that in as well, and then started painting his scarf. Don't forget to give it a little bit of a highlight to make it pop. The next step is painting his eyes red, and then you can go in and shade all around his body. For all of the marks on his body, you're going to want to take some brown with some white to make it into a tan body paint, or just use a tan body paint, and you can go ahead and draw all of those on. He's got a lot of angry wrinkles on his face as well. Don't forget those nostrils! The final two steps for the worm is to draw on his pupils and add any final touches with the shading. Next, one of my favorite creatures in the labyrinth world is probably these weird eyeball worm things. I don't even know what you call them, but I love them. So I took a mixture of green, gray, and brown body paint to create the swampy green color that they are. Go ahead and paint whichever ones you want, and also highlight and shade their bodies as well. Then you can go in and make their eyeballs. Their eyes are actually blue. I didn't notice that until I looked real close. touch for all the little characters is to add a light reflect in their eyes. I wanted the bricks to have a little bit more texture, so I took a textured sponge and dabbed black and brown all over. 